Hello, welcome to another video on linearization. This will just be an example. Uh, we're going to find the linearization of this function right here at x equals 0. And then we're going to follow it up by estimating, using the linearization as an, uh, to estimate 1 over 1.02 cubed. So let's go ahead and start with the linearization. Recall that the linearization is L of x, which is f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a. So that's our linearization. Uh, notice that we need an a. Now this right here is a. a is where you're actually finding the linearization. So a is going to be 0. So that's going to be f of 0 plus f prime at 0 and then x minus 0. All right, so this is going to be our linearization. We just need to figure out what f of 0, f prime of 0, that's actually it. We just need to figure out what these two are. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now recall linearization is actually just finding the tangent line. And when we found the tangent line, we needed two things. We needed a point and a slope. Now the point, that's going to be a f of a which actually we know what that point is that's going to be 0 comma and then whatever f of 0 is and then the slope is going to be f prime of 0 so let's go ahead and figure out what f prime is because I need to do that to find f prime of 0 so f prime of 0 let's first actually write f of x in a, a form that we can take the derivative of um, so I'm going to rewrite that function as 1 plus 2x to the negative 3. And now I'm ready to find the derivative. So that's f prime of x. So it's just going to be the chain rule. We bring down negative 3. Rewrite the inside. Subtract 1 off the exponent. Then multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is 2. And that cleans up to be negative 6 over, and then I'm going to just bring that down because this is a negative 4, so I'm going to bring it down to the bottom as a positive 4. So this is our derivative. All right, so what is f of 0? Now, f of 0 would just be plugging in 0 into this. So let's go down here. f of 0, that's 1 over 1 plus 2 times 0 cubed, which is just 1 over 1 cubed which is just one so there's my point and then the slope well now we can just evaluate it so we can come down here f prime of zero is going to be negative six over one plus two times zero the fourth that's going to be negative six over one to the fourth that's just negative six so let's go ahead and finish our linearization so L of x, all right, we found f of 0, which is right here. So that's 1 plus f prime of a, because that's our f prime of 0, which is next. And then we found that to be negative 6, x minus 0. So that turns out to be just 1 minus 6x. So there is the equation of our linearization. Now we need to use it to find this. Okay, so I just rewrote our linearization up here. Now, I need to figure out what does x have to be so that I get this over here. Now, notice that the ones match. So basically, I just need to figure out what does x have to be in here to give me 1.02. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say 1.02 has to equal 1 plus 2x. We just got to figure out what that x is. So I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides and we get 0 0.02 equals 2x and then we'll divide both sides by 2 and we get 0 0.01 that equals x. So if I want to find this right here 1 over 1.02 cubed I need to plug in 0 0.01 into here. Now remember that L of x is approximately the same thing as f of x. 
So if I need to plug in 0.01, so if 1 over 1.02 cubed is the same thing as f of 0.01, then I need to plug in to my linearization 0.01. So let's go ahead and do that now. L of 0.01 is going to be 1 minus 6 times 0.01, which is just 1 minus 0.06 which is 0.94, which is perfect. And then if I wanted to figure out what what the real one is, I would just go to my calculator and because I just want to check to see how close I am. So I'm going to do that now, 1.02 cubed, and I get 0.9423. So that's, that's actually very close. So then and that's pretty much it. So let's do a quick summary. We found the linearization of this function right here. We then use the linearization to estimate this value. Uh, it's important that you know how to figure out what x is. All right. The biggest the biggest mistake would be that somebody would come in and write, you know, l of 1.02 or something like that. But that's not the same thing, okay? Because that's not what x has to be to get this. So very be very careful. Uh, when trying to figure out what to plug in for X.